Omnibus was, of course, the critics called it the intellectual ghetto. It was, I think it was on at two, three o'clock Sunday afternoon at some awful time. But it was an attempt, uh, particularly of a ram na man named Robert Sordak, who was very highly thought of, uh, really first class. He wanted to make a program that was on the highest level that they could aspire to and execute and not have any restrictions, particularly of a commercial nature, to make the best kind of program you could make in television. So he set out Sordek. The One of the things he did right at the top was to ask his roommate, uh, the man who had been his roommate at Harvard, James Agee, to write these half hours on Abraham Lincoln. And there were other assignments too. The other great assignment he made was Leonard Bernstein doing, I think it was the children's orchestra thing, explaining the orchestra and so forth. Then there were other assignments made to writers in the course of events. One Peter Ustinov did, and not wrote, but he acted in. But as far as my own experience was concerned, A.G. wrote six masterful pieces. They were very unique, they were very different. It was called The Young Lincoln. It was about Lincoln as a young man, as a little boy. It actually starts with his birth. It starts with his assassination and goes to his birth and then comes on up through his teenage days in Indiana, and then finally to when he first runs for office, and in Illinois, and it shows how he moved through the states. Uh, James Agee, who is one of the finest writers we have in our literature, and who was, I guess, our finest film critic, he himself as a man, was born in the country close to where Lincoln was born, in Kentucky. He was born in uh, Tennessee, Jim, I think. But one interesting thing, Jim had a melancholy. Jim had a preoccupation with death, I, th I always thought. And he felt that Lincoln did too. And Lincoln did, there were the articulations, so to speak, of Lincoln, where he had the dream of the catafalque and all that kind of thing. And the death thing was, was all around him. And so that when Jim wrote this thing, he really caught it. He really caught that thing in Lincoln. And I thought he did a wonderful job. And it was played by Royal Dano. And the, the idea of casting Royal was uh, Jim Agee's, because Jim Agee had written a picture for John Huston called The Red Badge of Courage. And in that picture, Royal had played uh, a very notable role. And so Jim, remembering that, thought of him, and he was superb as Lincoln. It was Joanne Woodward's first uh, real movie, so to speak. She had done live television. Jack Armstrong, uh, Jack Armstrong was played, uh, Joanne played Anne Rutledge. Jack Armstrong was played by Jack Warden, again, just starting.